In this video, we are diving into the brand new Safari experience in iOS 26. We will explore all the exciting features and changes you can expect when the update officially rolls out in the fall. Safari is getting a major refresh in iOS 26, including a new design, enhanced privacy features and several other improvements that aim to make your browsing experience smarter and more enjoyable. Let's go through everything that's new one by one. The first thing that you will notice after launching the Safari browser on your iPhone is the addition of the new liquid glass design. The new design is visible in all parts of Safari including the address bar, tab views and buttons. The liquid glass design in the address bar and the buttons looks stunning, especially when you are scrolling through a website. As different elements move in the background, the subtle refraction effect adds depth and a refined modern feel to the browsing experience. Apple has introduced a new compact look for Safari's address bar and buttons in iOS 26. Users can now choose from three different layout styles for the address bar. Two of these are familiar designs carried over from iOS 18. One places both the address bar and the buttons at the bottom of the screen while the other one keeps the address bar at the top while the buttons are located at the bottom. In both of these layouts, the address bar and buttons have been slimmed down and no longer take up the full width of the display. The new compact layout puts the address bar and the buttons at the bottom. While you get the back and forward buttons along with the address bar, some buttons are hidden inside the ellipsis button that you can tap to access more controls like share, add bookmark, new tab, new private tab and all tabs button. You can swipe on the address bar to switch between open tabs and swipe up to access the tab switcher screen. When you're on the tab switcher screen, you can tap on the private button to access private browsing or hit the ellipsis button from the top to get access to features like tab groups, profiles, arrange tabs, copy multiple links and add bookmarks for all open tabs. In iOS 26, Safari adds every new website as a web app by default when you add its icon to the home screen. You can choose to open the website in Safari by turning off the toggle when adding a new icon. In the new update, Safari's advanced fingerprinting protection feature is enabled for all browsing by default. Previously, this protection was limited to private browsing only. Now, this feature will keep websites from tracking your device across websites. With this extended protection, Safari will prevent known scripts from accessing information like screen dimensions, etc., preventing websites from tracking you across different web pages that you visit. Safari has now added support for HDR images. This means the browser will now be able to load images with a wider dynamic range and improved color gamut. It will also show brighter whites and deeper blacks on iPhones with XDR displays. The new Safari browser features support for web GPU. This support will let you play web-based games at a higher frame rate and effects. This will also help web-based photo editing tools, 3D modeling websites, CAD viewers, etc. to do on-device machine learning, so they run faster and use less battery. A new digital credentials API has been added to Safari which will allow websites to request identity documents from Apple for secure identity and age verification. Another background change in Safari is that it now supports SVG format for website icons that appear on the home screen, start page, menus, etc. So this was a look at the new Safari features that Apple has brought in iOS 26. You can expect these features to come to an iPhone near you when Apple releases iOS 26 update for everyone in the fall. Remember, the features showcased in this video are from iOS 26 developer beta 2. Apple could make changes to these features as the beta progresses and the final version of iOS 26 is released to public. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more iOS 26 content. Thanks for watching.